Um, so yeah, we were talking about uh, uh, working uh, overseas, working outside South Africa. As someone who has worked in some of the biggest projects outside the country, what's your take on the treatment of actors compared to what happens overseas, what happens in other African countries, and how we are treated back home in South Africa? Um, I think, you know, it, it just, it, it, it also depends on what you want as an actor. If you know your work, mm -hmm. and if you know how you, how the set efficacy and how you have to be treated, you'll be treated well. Mm -hmm. You put, you, you just put your, your, your foot down in terms of those kind of things. But in South Africa, then what happens is that, you know, um, there are certain people that will be treated like this, and there are those who will be treated differently. It just not quite, if, you know what, it boils down, it goes back again to the standard. Standardization of the industry will help us to get out of that whole bad treatment of others and the good treatment of, our, of certain people. Because if you, if Ukuluma, if you say something whether well about your own uh, mistreatment or the mistreatment of others, because I also notice a lot of divide and rule in the industry, where yeah. other people are, are treated like gold, and others are just. That they we have families, people have families that they must feed. So. And any that you lose, there's someone who's going to take it. Someone is, 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 is dying to take that job. Yeah. So, well, would, you know. would you, is it better to say and do the right thing and end up jobless or just I, shut up and, and, and get the job and get paid? I think, you know what, I, since I've been acting, um, even on the series that I'm on now, mm. I've realized that. I, you know, there are just people who will just keep quiet and they just won't, don't want to rock the boat. And unfortunately, I'm not that type of a person. If something is wrong, mm. it's wrong. If I don't feel okay about something, I don't feel okay about it. It's either we talk about it, you prove me wrong, then we move on, or, you know, we sit down, we talk about it. If it's not right, it's not right. If it's right, then it's right. You'll prove me that, no, it's right. Then mm. we, can, we, we can move on. There's no need for anybody to feel uh, scared about saying how they truly feel, and more especially on set. Some, I've seen people do the most dangerous things on set. I'm like, why do you put yourself in that situation? If anything happens to I you, do you know? I have seen that. It's where you know what they should have you had know, a professional stand. You know? So I ask them, like, do you know if you're protected? Do you know if, you're, if, if there's insurance, if anything had to happen to you? Or anything like that. No, but it doesn't matter. If they say you must do, you must ask them that if anything happens to me, am I going to be okay? Will my family be okay with me if anything had to happen? You know what I mean? So it's those things. And, and also, you know, when it comes to issues of nudity, when it comes to the ladies, I know it's a huge problem where they're just told, oh, just take off that, just take off that top, man. There's nothing new. Take off the top, take off those pants. Yeah, well, and don't also, look like a virgin. Someone, exactly, you feel like someone is not feeling comfortable about taking off their clothes or anything like that. And even the way they are spoken to, it's not the way that you know makes someone feel comfortable about something. So in any, so you know, and then you find people doing things that they are not supposed to do, and then they feel crap about it, and then they feel you know, people must just talk. Just learn to talk. If you don't say it for yourself, nobody's going to say it for you. Ish. And once something is short, it's short. There's nothing you can do. It doesn't, it doesn't belong to you. You can't delete. And you've got to cringe for the next three months until that thing shows on TV. Mm. So you're working around Even like after this. it shows, they still have the footage. They can still use it in the future. Without your permission, mm. which is wrong. Because when we sign our release forms, we give our lives away. Exactly. That is why sometimes as an actor, you do something and you find out it's also playing in Nigeria, but they haven't even informed you. Because when you sign the release form, you agree to what they can do whatever they want with it. 
that's where I don't know if you remember the fight that I had with Mnet about that. That's where the issue of residuals and and royalties come in. Mm. That we sign contracts in South Africa, and then the next thing you think is playing outside outside the country. You know, and then even when you sign the contract as an actor, you need to you you need it it must stipulate where is the show going to play. How long is the show going to play? When is that ending? And then anything beyond that, we must. You have to come back to the table and renegotiate the fee of yes. anything that happened over and above whatever it is that you guys were doing. Simple as that. Ish. Yeah, no, people are still getting paid for friends, which was how many years ago? I'm not getting paid for Judge Tenji, which was last year but they're repeating it every day. Exactly. Uh, quick one. Are you willing to work with upcoming filmmakers who are willing to meet your rate? Or set in brackets, keeping in mind how good is, is the script? Yeah, obviously, the will, I mean, the, um, in working with, uh, I, I don't mind working with upcoming directors. I actually enjoy working with new fresh minds you know people who are coming with new ideas fresh you know coming from school or whatever uh, obviously we'll have to sit down we have to talk about the script we have to talk about who's directing your kind of directing maybe check your show reel and see you know because sometimes you might throw your talent into the wrong hands so in those cases i just want to make sure that am i working with someone that knows what they're doing do they mm. truly understand the craft and are they passionate enough to tell the story that they're trying to tell or they just want to be famous and say, I've worked with Tony. I don't want those kind of things. I would have to make sure that, you know, we sit down. And if it goes to the point where I say, okay, fine, I want to be a producer. I want to co-produce this thing with you. And maybe that's something that we can talk about in going forward. And uh, can we also talk about the issue of awards? Does an award mean anything and does it change uh, your rates or your does it improve you as a as an as a performer? I I know. See the issue of awards, um I don't know. I've never I don't have never even won an award. I've never even won a SAFTA or anything like that. So I, I truly don't know what truly happened. You've never even won a SAFTA? No. I've never. Not with Long Walk to Freedom, not with Skin, not with all these movies that I've made. I have you know, this year I was so disappointed with the Saftas. They don't have the comedy category. You see? They decided not to do it. And we entered. But they decided you know, no comment. They've got the whole list, but no comment. That's why we have Koron. Until they start to respect us. <laughs> So, yeah, so I don't know. The, the, the thing of the awards, I don't know. People have won awards and I've seen them disappear into the industry. I've seen other people stay in the industry. I've seen other people, you know, just don't. I remember. I mean, I, 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 I'll tell you what I find to be a problem with uh, awards, in particular with uh, comedy, which is very similar to acting because these things happen almost the same way. Mm hmm. Uh, I think they disadvantage a performer because number one, to go to an award as a celebrity, not in other countries, in South Africa. I've seen awards in Nigeria where people are giving checks of big money, where people are winning scholarships to go and study overseas. I've seen awards where That's you're true. like, mm, if only. And I've seen awards in America where you know what immediately after this, this person is going to be making $150,000 per episode. So we we, mm. we it's a gloom about South Africa. Uh, number one, what I don't like what they do is I think Umdomiyama, we are surgeons. Even magazines like you, they are white people's magazines. But when they do awards, they want to nominate black uh, influencers and black celebrities because why? Angiti, you must vote for your celebrities. So all those hundred and fifty or oh, 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 one hundred and fifty that people are, 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 are paying to vote for their celebrities. Yeah. Who do they go to? Not to the celebrity. I've seen my friends 
have to go to a loan shark in order to afford a dress to make it to the red carpet. Yeah. I've seen people miss their rent so they can buy Louboutins so that they, 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 they look good on the red carpet. I've seen, seen uh, people borrow clothes to, to go to the red carpet. And I haven't seen anyone whose career has become better because of e awards. That's true. And I've seen people win awards of things they do not deserve. So I am not sure what we need to do with, with AMA Awards, but clearly there is something that is wrong. And people must understand that when they vote, the money is not going to the celebrity they are voting for. It's going to ever, whoever is behind Lauma Awards. Can you imagine? Let's just do uh, image. Let's say, take a celebrity with a million uh, followers. Yeah. Who's probably living in a rented uh, flat, rented apartment, can't even afford to buy a house. Not, not, not necessarily because they don't have money. Sometimes as a performer, it becomes difficult for Ama Bank to, to, to trust you because only in seven years, contract. You only have a contract for a year. Uh, so, best of my followers are come for tell they want you to win. A million of yeah. them. And you know what the majority of them are going to vote more than once. How much is that? Wouldn't you rather ask your, your people to give you Labo one run fifth and not have an award but have a house? Wow. Well, Kunzim, because you know, um, this issue of awards, and there's so many of them, there are so many awards you don't understand. Uh, so the, the problem now is that the adjudicators, here's the problem that I had. Now, I'll give you an example that I had with uh, the problem that I had with um, what you call these awards, the subjects. Mm -hmm. That people who were judging were actors themselves. Actors judging yep. other actors. Yes. And I'm like, it doesn't make sense. I can't sit there and go and judge Rapulan or judge Kenneth Ngozi or go judge, you know. Yep. Uh, uh, or Vuskunen. You know what I mean? I would yep. rather have someone from outside or maybe may even make it more interesting and bring in the lecturers from 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 the universities like the, your UCT, your you or people all, out from outside the country. Yeah, but who teach and who understand and who would be looking at you and be able to analyze your performance and put reasoning to why they say this. And we have drama weird. lecturers. Exactly, there are lot, there's lots. There's lots. Their jobs. And also, not only from 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 formal institutions, but also from informal institutions. The guys who are teaching at your community community centers, because some of us we come from community centers. My talent was brewed from the garages in the townships where we did community theater. Yeah, I come from Omaha, yeah. You know, a lot of people, and and if you can, to be honest with you, most of the shows that we have that have that have touched international stages are the shows that come from community theaters. Yes. Most of them. Even in music. None of these shows that come from these, Yeah, none of these shows that come from these uh, beautiful, glamorous theaters have hardly touched at that level. Mm. So I always say, so my argument will always say, then have a mixture, have a mixture of your, your formal and informal, put them together, let them judge, let them bring the knowledge of where they come from and what they are or what they know to analyze the performances and be able to adjudicate and say, this we think is the right performance because it meets these criteria. Mm -hmm. Now, if I act, if I, if, if I act uh, alongside Rapulan and whatever, and I have to judge it, I mean, really, we're going to be biased. Yes. And also, they must remember, which as colleagues, some of them you like, some of them you don't. There's a question here that says, does the production acknowledge that the viewers who aren't in art see the votes are unfair? 
acknowledge that the viewers I'm not sure what it means. Do you see I don't it? know. I'll, I'll let you answer that. Yeah, I see that question. There's a production acknowledge that the viewers who aren't in act see vote and fair. Oh, I think what she's trying to say is that there's um like for instance the NFBF, will they acknowledge if the viewers are saying this is not our this is not our choice? <laughs> In most I cases, think people to tell you the audience, Oba. Man. Oba. No, I think in most of the in in most cases, um, the the view the the even if they say this is the viewer choice, I I have my the things of the awards. I have my reservation. That's why I don't even attend awards. Mm, I do attend. We... I do attend. I do attend them sometimes, but you know, I it it, it gets to a point where. It's a bit dicey sometimes. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes it's it, just a, a, a it doesn't time sit well to, sometimes. to be with you your colleagues. Like... Yeah, boy. And I look for the young guy, so Sakile. Uti, you change it. I can relate. Last year, we voted for the song of the year at Ukozi FM, and the winner received more than 400,000 votes. That's almost half a million votes. Guess what? The winner only gets ten thousand rand. Can you imagine at two rand per vote? If you receive four hundred thousand votes, how much is that? And you only get ten thousand. Mm. So people the viewer, good, some people. Are, the viewer gets how much? Are good business people, yes. Ten thousand oh, rand. That's... You generate eight hundred thousand for them 800,000 yeah. to generate for them and you only get 10,000 run yeah no it's it's um, the issue of of the awards i think it's a it's it, it's something that um it, it really has the, i i don't i i think the awards have to be there and the awards have to be like you were saying you know if you do awards in nigeria you know, when people when people win, you understand why they win. Yes. And they also understand why I'm winning this award, why I am becoming this person that I am. Because they know that after I've won this award, I'm now they even categorize their actors. They have the A list actors, they have the B and they have C. Yes. In South Africa, ah, wonka bonk. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. They're all being we shoved in the same group, you know? The upcoming, the amateur, it doesn't matter. If a person is an actor, as long as they are there, they have a lead on a soap or anything like that, they are one of the celebrity top actors. And this thing of celebritism, if I may call it, of glamorizing is it also it, it also delaying the progress of the industry somehow. Yes, glamour has to be there, but there has to be sense to it. There has to be certain thinking that goes with why are we putting glamour to this thing? Inga, BJ, mm. anything that comes and goes, you know? Yeah, ne? Utu <laughs> Tisela, I don't want to give realistic examples, but there's always that one award that is questionable. <laughs> and there is. Ati Usia, how can we change the industry? Because it seems if you speak out, and are not well known, you won't get any gigs. Abantu will say, we are the jailer. Yeah, you know, that it, 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 um, I, you have to, I, like I always said, you, 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 you truly have to speak up. You don't stop. Even people can say whatever they want to say. Don't stop talking. As long as you are right, you feel well enough, what you are right. And unless you are proven otherwise, then you know. But there are and people who will tell you you'll never work in this industry. Yeah, that's true. But it's a, everywhere it's like that. Even in politics, you can rise up in politics against someone, they will tell you that uh, you will never, your political career ends here today and all that. Mm. But you, know, you have to, you know, you have to get to a point where you, 
you stand up. You you have to show your presence somehow. Of why why are they nominating the same people every year on the same categories? Why? He's asking. I have um, no We are idea. waiting for your ads. Because it's, you know, it goes back to that question that the person was asking, Wotina, why are they keep on uh, casting the same people? The same people. Because you're playing the main character on this show and then you're moving next year, you're moving on to the next one, next year you're moving on to the next one. So you are a main actor in all of these. So in one Not way just the main other, actor, a villain. Yeah, one of in one one way or the other, when they say supporting or they saying whatever role, you are going to be there. Mm. I think that's one of the problems that is there. You know, and then another thing, people think that acting only ends on television, guys. There's also theater. Please put yourself in theater work. And you will see when you come from theater and then you get on television or you get on film, the fire that you'll be having within you mm. in terms of acting will be so amazing. I always encourage people and to all, do The audience as a South Africa does not support it enough. Yeah, no, that's true. That is true. And the audience, again, and I think it's because but I see the market theater has been doing very well in terms of uh, their audience. They get people going there. They're coming up with programs that get people to be coming to the market theater all the time. They try to be relevant at all time. The Playhouse also, I did one play at the Playhouse last year. Um, we're trying our level best also to fill up uh, uh, the Playhouse. So, um, and I'm hoping that maybe so Munya Abuza, what qualifications is needed when I want to be an actor? Yes, you do to become a theater actor. 